Hi. Today we will learn how this identity a plus b whole square equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square can be understood geometrically. So let me first draw a line of length a and then let me extend this line by a length b and let me draw one perpendicular line to this a this line again first of length a and extend it further by length b now let me draw a square out of these lengths this is a square of length this is a square of size a plus b now let's name these points let us call this point a this point as b this as c and this as d okay now let's name a few more points like this meeting point of red and yellow lines let me call it e okay and this point let me call as f these points are very significant in this figure why because they are dividing lengths a and b this was length a this was also a but these lengths are b ec is equal to b similarly fa is also equal to length b and what about length ab this is a plus b and this is also cb is also a plus b okay now let's do some further construction i want to draw a line from e in such a way that this line is parallel to bc and touches line ab at some point say g and erase this a plus b it is understood i think there is no need to write this a plus b over here okay and let me write this point very clearly as g this point is g i'll do similar construction from point f draw a parallel line till bc which will be touching bc at h and the line is parallel to line ab now what we have now the whole abcd which was a square is divided into four smaller pieces right where this the portion i am going to shade in red is a square of dimension a by a okay and if we call this point as the meeting point of fh and eg as o then the portion i am going to shade in blue is a rectangle of size b by a and the another portion which again i am going to shade in blue only is also a rectangle of size b by a isn't it this is also a rectangle of dimension b this is b by a why this is a this is a and this line line e g is parallel to line d a and all these angles are 90 degree so d e g a will be a bigger rectangle where opposite sides are equal so if this is a 
DEA DE is A AG will also be equal to A and what about this tiny piece using the same similarity as we have discussed EC BG is also a big rectangle where GB is of size B and if we consider FHBA as bigger rectangle BH will be will again be of size B of length B and this portion uh, which I am going to shade in green and this portion which I have shaded in green is a square of dimension B by B isn't it so what are the areas of these shaded portions now let's talk about the area of a square what is the area of a square area of a square is equal to side multiplied by side okay and what is the area of rectangle let AR be the short form for area of a rectangle it is width multiplied by length okay so we have we know all uh, we know these two things area of a square is side by side side multiplied by side why because in a square both the sides are equal and area of a rectangle is width multiplied by length okay so now let's erase this because we already know this so no point in keeping it here we have just revised we have written this just to revise our previous knowledge so what is the area of the tiny square shaded in red is so what is the area of the square D E O F this D E O F it is A by A A multiplied by A that is A square okay and what is the area of this rectangle the rectangle E C H this was H O it is it is width multiplied by length so width is B length is A that is B multiplied by A B A and if we write it in alphabetical order it will be A B and what is the area of this rectangle the rectangle F O G A it is also width multiplied by length A B okay No, so now what is this tiny thing shaded in green this is actually a square of side equal to B so what will be the area of this green square it will be B square isn't it so what will be the area of the bigger square the bigger square is ABCD so the area of ABCD area of ABCD is actually equal to the area of a square whose one side's length is A plus B so its area will be A plus B whole square and what it actually is equal to it is actually equal to the area of the red shaded portion which is A square plus the area of blue shaded portions there are two blue shaded portion and both have area as AB okay so it is AB plus AB 
and then the area of green shaded portion that is plus b square which is nothing but equal to a square plus two ab's two rectangles two blue rectangles of the same size of the same area that is 2ab plus the tiny green square whose area is b square so from this we have actually reached to the conclusion that a plus b whole square that means the area of the square of side a plus b is actually equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square which is this a square is the area of the square shaded in red ab is the area of rectangle shaded in blue and we have two such rectangles whose area is ab plus b square that is the area of square shaded in green so a plus b whole square is nothing but a square plus 2ab plus b square